begin this midday with an exclusive story. One of the most colorful members of the Chicago Bears 1985 Super Bowl championship team is making a major announcement about his health this morning. Jared Payton joins us now live to tell us about his conversation with Steve McMichael. Jared. Hey guys, good afternoon. I received a phone call this past Saturday that Steve McMichael had some really important news that he wanted to share with me in the world, and here it is. I don't want the public, because I'm not going to be out in the public anymore. I'm not going to be playing in the, the Chicago Six anymore. I'm not going to be on the ESPN radio anymore. You're not going to see me out doing appearances. Hell, I can't even sign my name anymore. Uh, and everybody's going to be speculating, where's, where's McMichael? What's wrong with him? Well, I'm here to tell everybody I've been diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. I'm glad in my life I never held back anything. I went at it full bore and did a lot of things in my life. I'm glad I didn't wait to, you know, get geriatric and going to start filling out a bucket list. Yeah, Steve was diagnosed with ALS back in January. He's lost the use of his arms and his hands, but he still has the ability to walk and the wheelchair that you see in the video, it was donated by the Chicago Bears. Now you guys, I have to say that I was honored to be able to share this story with Steve and also to the world that he, he trusted me. And uh, he's, listen, he's not just a football player to me. He is like a football uncle. And he was my last football coach back in 2010 when I played with the Chicago Slaughter. But he is one of the guys since my dad's past that has really truly kept up with me. And any time that I need him, he has always been there for me. So I'm hoping that we can be there for him as well. He has a GoFundMe page up at GoFundMe.com slash TeamMongo76. And um, a lot of the, the, the money that's going to be raised is going to be able to help him long term. But he has a big fight ahead. And I spent two hours with him yesterday. And he is in great spirits. And just to see him smile, see him talk. Um, it just brought back a lot of memories. So, you guys, uh, it's been a tough one for me. And um, it's one of those moments that, you know, you never think of. But uh, to know that I could be there for him to help share his story and he can feel a little bit more peace, um, that's what it was all about for me. So I'm just honored that he trusted me with this story. Jared, I know you had that lengthy and I know difficult conversation yesterday. When will we hear more of that interview? We will hear more tonight at 9 o'clock, and we're going to let the interview roll. I mean, him and I are, if people know, he's one of the best storytellers in the world, Dina, mm -hmm. and uh, he can sit and talk for hours. So just our conversation, just about life and, and everything, things that are going on now and what he wants to do and that he's ready for whatever is coming his way. He said, I'm going to attack this the same way that I attacked uh, quarterbacks on the football field. So we know Mongo is going to be fighting. Yeah, Jared, thank you. And it is challenging because, as we know, there is no cure for ALS. But he sure has been living his life to the fullest. We know that much. Thanks, Jared.